I don't know what all this is, but I don't want to find out. She says, if I wanted to feel sorry for myself, I'd have stayed with your father. Ooh, that is quite a drop. Let me help you down. I've got this. life. The sinkhole, your foot. What? You'd be dead if my mom hadn't taught me to dress a wound. Fine. Two times then. The sinkhole and just now. Hey, let me see that. Leave it. It's nothing. Hey, I'm fine. Come on. Roll up your sleeve and just admit we're friends already. This is not an admission. Let me see. Oh. Oh. It's getting worse. Listen, it ain't broken or bleeding. It'll calm down. It always does. Let's go. The kid said the ward was this way. You ever hear about the North Pole? North Pole? That old fairy tale? Yeah, like this war. Old white guy founds it. Food and fresh water, everyone gets along. <laughs> that sounds like the fairy tale to me. It's probably just a couple old timers holed up underground. I just hope they got a few supplies for trade. Otherwise, we won't last much longer. people actually live like this? What's... <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what's in that Fulton's original blend, but I never seen nobody that happy before. Not in real life. can't turn back now. Ain't got nowhere to go. There's huh? gotta be another way through. <sighs> it's about time. What took you? happened to these poor bastards?
can't let it go to waste. Use it on that bum ankle of yours. Won't help me none. Hey, come on. Let's get some distance between us and the bodies. Over here. This is bad. This is bad with a side of broccoli. The hell's that? Nothing. Uh, something my ma used to say. Starting to think looking for this ward wasn't such a good idea. <coughs> No way the war's real. Not with a nest like this out here. You know, maybe best we head back. We retrace our steps. We can find another way out. Here we go.
It's okay. You're safe. Whoa, whoa, hold up. We're friends. We're here to help. Can't hold this forever, Bo! We still got each other. <laughs> right. Follow us, you two. That won't be the last of them. It's not far from here, but the way down collapsed behind us. We're gonna have to find another way out. Okay. know they've lost, but they won't lay down without a fight.
okay? Not bad shooting, Traveler. Yeah, I had some practice. I'll bet. But don't worry. The ward's as safe a place as any. Safer. So... It's really real. Food, and water, and... Folks living with some old white guy? <sighs> More or less. <coughs> whoa, whoa, let me get you some more. I'm fine, I... Cass, ooh, that looks like root rot. I've never seen a case this bad. I'm fine. I don't know why everyone... Uh, we need to get her to work, and quick. <clears throat> Doctor, there's her only chance. We'd better get moving, before we lose the light. friend. We'll take good care of her. Welcome to War 13. Hey, don't worry. Riggs is right. She'll be fine. Are you okay? Just a headache. Hey, hey, Clementine. Uh, let me get you some water. I'm fine. Oh, you're not fine. You need rest. Oh, He's the ward's mayor. Thinks that puts him in charge of everything and everyone. Listen, I'm gonna check in with Ford, and then I'll get some rest, okay? I've been through a lot worse, you know. So, uh, Traveler, um, <clears throat> your friend will be fine. I'm Bo. Bo Ward, and this is Ward 13. He must have come a long way. I mean, the route's dwindling and all, but the road's still a dangerous place. What were you two doing out there? For the ward? Really? Huh. I didn't know anybody knew what we were doing here. <laughs> we've just, uh... Well, we've been cut off from the world for so long that... Well, I'm surprised people know about us outside the gate. Feels kind of nice, actually. Hey, ask around if you need something. Oh, start with Ford. I'm sure he'd like to meet you. Oh, Traveler. How's everything? Lots of nice folks here. Talk to them, you'll see. If you need anything, you know where to find me. You ever wonder if all this is... A dream or something? What do you mean? Like, none of this. What happened to us? Hey, you're the newcomer, ain't you? Nora Camarillo. I keep folks alive around here. You know you're lucky they found you when they did? She's great. A real spitfire, that one. I'd uh, hang on to her if I were you. Not yet. She's asleep, and I'd like her to stay that way a spell. That girl's tough, all right. But right now, she needs rest. When she's up and about, I'll make sure you know. I'll be here if you need fixing.
This is not up for discussion, Clementine. You're staying, and that's fine. I don't remember asking for your permission. Watch your tone, young lady. Excuse me? I'm 132 years old, in case you forgot. And I am not your child. You don't have a... Th uh. <clears throat> we'll talk about this later. Out of my way. Whoa, what have we here? Ah, the... Traveler, of course. Wallace said... Yes. Uh, right on time. Sorry you had to see that. But then again, you've been around. I'm sure you know. Families fight. Andrew Ford. Good to make your acquaintance. In the flesh. I'm sure you've got a lot of questions, and I've got a favor to ask. So let's get to it. You first. Ah, uh, not you precisely, as in name, rank, serial number. But I knew someone was coming. Our young Wallace told me. Okay. All right, traveler. Now that you've shot your shot, here's mine. I need an able young scrapper to help an old man out. Talk to Wally. You'll find him out by the docks. After that, gear up, and then meet me at the ward gate. I'll tell you a story. Before, so difficult to tell packs to take apart without hoof and horn. I am Sa Israk Thadwell. Uh, my Paxel take name is Dwell. I sell crystals from my world. They make Paxel only that which will make it stronger than before. lead to dwell. See you, Traveler. You're the one Ford's been waiting for. Though, he doesn't know he's been waiting. He thinks he needs help. It's her who needs it. You know. And you don't. Sorry, I shouldn't say. Things get... messier when I tell them. I'm Wallace. Did I say that yet? Probably. The sight, you know? <laughs> you have a path to walk. You choose the first step here, but your path can change if you want it to. <laughs> yep. That makes a lot of sense now. You're right, of course. Your path is waiting. Tell Brabus and McCabe I sent you. They have what you need. They're the next step on your journey. Goodbye, traveler.
Ain't you a right mutter? Traipsing in here like you own the place. That boy what talks to the root? <laughs> I don't trust Wally with a hot meal. But I also ain't dumb enough to cross him. I don't reckon he was any more specific. Right. Well, the boy's crazy, but he ain't stupid. I can see your gear is, uh, lacking, to say the least. If he asks, you tell him I gave you this. Uh, no charge. Ah, Riggs is gonna talk my ear off if I don't send you over to him next, isn't he? Fine. Go see Riggs, then. Tell him he can do whatever the hell he wants. and my mother. Did both send you- Shit. You're serious, aren't you? All right, so what the hell is this journey? Damn right it sounds crazy, but that's how I know you ain't lying. Only Wally would do that to a person. Fine. Well, the only reason anyone bothers me is because I'm good with a hammer. So either I can modify your weapons, or we can find a more creative use for it. <laughs> Tell you what. I heard you picked up something strange on your little jaunt earlier. Maybe I could do something with it. There. That ought to help with whatever journey he saw you on. Just tell Wally to be more specific next time, yeah? So we're done here, right? Or do I need the hammer again? Good. <sighs> Look, it's not personal. I just don't like being distracted. I get into a zone, you know? It pisses me off when people come by and interrupt my me time. But I'll tell you what. You're clearly not the average stray that shows up here. So I'll make you a deal. You find anything interesting out there, bring it back to me and I'll see if I can use it to mod your weapons, okay? Oh, and if you tell anyone I was nice to you, I will cut you. Oh, friend. <laughs> Glad to see you're all right. What can I do for you? Briggs, and no worries. There was a time when helping each other survive was all we had left. Around here? We don't forget those days, if we can help it. Your friend's gonna be all right, by the way. I've seen weaker pull out of worse. What were you doing out there? Uh, you don't mind me asking? Really? <laughs> What'd you hear exactly? Well, you found it. That's what these folks were for me, anyway. Couple of times over. They'll do for you, too, if you've got the hands and heart to join them. Given how you've been watching over the little scuffler in the med bay there. I'd say you'll feel right at home. Take care, my friend. Anything you need? I don't suppose he was more particular about why. Right. Well, I've got a pretty focused skill set. I reckon I know what he means. Come to me if you ever need to upgrade your equipment. Some when I'm done? Do hey, you really think my stew's all right?
sign says we gotta look out for each other. You look ready to face anything. What do you say? Ready to see what's down there with me? Then let's not waste any more time. This way. Crank the handle to make it work. This used to be a research facility, cutting edge. We did things down here nobody dreamed of. Not before nor since. Yet, for all our manpower, we didn't know what the stones really were. Until it was too late. The stones? <laughs> the world stones. Giant red crystals that let us see into other worlds. Even travel to them. So, what? We just hide the stones away and hope the Soviets haven't found their own. <laughs> no. We had to know everything there was to know about it. It was a matter of national security. Of pride. So, yeah. We opened the door. And walked through. But something was waiting on the other side. It didn't happen right away. Hell, the inhabitants of the worlds we traveled to couldn't follow us. We thought we were safe. But yeah, the route found a way. After that, well, we all know what happened after that. Locked, huh? Well, this is my house. <laughs> Come on. I gave Ellen a few things to hang on to, in case of emergency. Uh, she must have hidden it around here. Come on, Ellie, where'd you hide it? That red thing. We call it... A dragon heart. <laughs> Don't ask why. Take it with you. You might need it. Come on, let's go. There you are. Hurry up. Hey, take a look at that matchbook you found. I got a hunch. Let's get this door unlocked. Can't stand around all day. Is that the... The world stone. Yes. Or part of it, anyway. Every shard's as useful as the whole. We shut it down after Harsgard died. Like I told Ellen at the time. The damn thing's more dangerous than useful. Huh. Of course not. Uh, never mind. Now, let's see if that worked. Work to do what exactly?
Go back. Tell Bo to bury this place. Not just lock it away, but get some explosives and bury it in a tomb of concrete. More dangerous than useful, Traveler. Remember that. Ford? Ford! Ford! Oh, man. Bo is gonna be pissed. did it. He actually woke it up. Clementine? Hey. Did he tell you how to use it? Do I even want to? System failure is imminent. The core has been compromised. The utility is required. Commencing acquisition. Ah! Help! Clementine! <laughs> Don't let go! Clementine! <sighs> shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 don't do it! Don't you do it! Oh, this is so stupid!